Hi, this is Jody from Teachtopia TV with a brief tutorial on what is a prime number. Now, first of all, a prime number is a rather simple concept, but you must remember one thing. One is not a prime number. In fact, a prime number must be greater than one. So let's go over that real core tenet. Must be greater than one. Must be greater than one. This is very significant. One of the first things I ever tell students when they're thinking about prime numbers is that one itself is not a prime number. Now, also don't get caught up in the trap thinking that an odd number is inherently a prime number. It's not. So basically, what is a prime number then? Well, it must be greater than one. But what a prime number also is, is that it's divisible only by the number itself, divisible only by the number itself and one. So for example, let's do several examples here to really make sure you understand what a prime number is. Let's think of the number five. Five is one of the classic prime numbers. So here I go and I'll write five. Is it greater than one? It sure is. It's greater than one. Is it divisible by one? Yes. Is it divisible by itself? Yes. Is it divisible by anything else? No. It is a prime number. What about three? Is it greater than one? Yes. Is it divisible by anything other than itself and one? No. So three is a prime number. Now I'm going to throw one at you. What about 13? Is 13 greater than 1? Yes. Could anything be divided into it? Or is, um, are there any divisors other than 1 and 13? Well, let's think. Does 2 go perfectly into 13? Sure doesn't. Does 6 go perfectly in? No. The only divisors that I could think of are 1 and 13. So therefore, 13 is also a prime number. So 13 equals a prime number. OK. So. There are countless prime numbers, but the core thing you have to remember, I shouldn't say countless, but there are many, many, many prime numbers, but the core thing you need to remember is that a prime number is only divisible by itself or one. 